Schuster from Manly Punch Up with his teammate at training, believed to be at the barbecue after. What are you laughing at, Kenny? Oh, you, you're just, already oh. giggling at this. <laughs> you oh, love a punch up story. story. You're, the, mate, you're the king of the punch up story. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's that big a deal. I honestly I just think it's. What, two players oh, that's not yep. standing good. there yep. exchanging blows? I, yep. You know, I how, had, talk was through it. How did it happen? Well, I tell you, Manly have got this stupid little practice where if someone walks in with a bad haircut, you get clipped it on the ear. So Dean Madison, Ryan Madison's younger brother, plays for Blacktown workers, walked into training, apparently had a shock of a haircut. Which, which <laughs> Do we did. have vision of the haircut? So, no, we, we need to get his picture. <laughs> but anyway, Schuster's clipped him, but he's clipped him too hard. And then the two of them stood there exchanging blows. Anthony Seabold will say it was a nothing incident, but the people I had there who saw it said it was quite serious. Mm. And if Josh Alloy A hadn't have stepped in as quickly as he did, it could have got out of hand. And it's a story, Kenty, because the player we're talking about, Josh Schuster, is in the news, he's on $800,000, he's been stood down for a month to get his body right, and he's fighting blokes at training. Yeah, look, I get, I get that part of it, Buzz, but... Uh, yeah, the fact that Alloy had to step in shows that what Anthony Seabold said was misleading in to try and make out that there's nothing much to it. If there's nothing much to it, they would have settled it themselves. He's the fact been that quoted today, Alloy saying he did step in. That's what I'm yeah, saying. The yeah. fact that he had he did step in shows it was something more than what Seabold is confessing to. That said, though, the mentality of young alpha males is generally you do this, you flare up, Five minutes later, it's forgotten about, and you get on with things. That's why I don't think it's, I don't think it's a, an issue of something like an endemic problem at the club. I think it was just two hotheads mm. came together. And how many times have you seen blokes out to have a pretend wrestle or whatever? One goes a little bit harder, the other mm. guy goes a little bit harder. Suddenly, it turns into mm. a full blown fight. It, it, it appears to me it was nothing more than that, but it escalated quickly. All right, well, let's hear from Seagulls prop. Josh Alloway did his best to hose down talk of a rift between the team, insisting the punch-up was nothing new in the high-pressure world of the NRL. Oh, it's the most violent thing I've ever seen. There was blood everywhere. No, you used to love that, wouldn't you? No. It was no big deal, really. You see it all the time. But, um, you know, when there's people there and Chinese whispers things get worse and worse, and it's just a bit of a, bit of a laugh now, really. It was, it was something that happens pretty often, you know, but... Um, a lot of the time, there's not people there to kind of report on it, you know. The more people talk about it, the bigger it gets. They had GST like the ATO, so it was pretty good. Yeah, when you get, you know, 35 highly competitive men in an environment, you know, for 40 plus hours a week, things, things boil over sometimes, and that. I've been involved, most people have been involved in little bits and pieces along the time, and then usually laugh about it and tease each other about it afterwards, and that's already what's happening, so, you know, don't try and disconnect us, we're all good. <laughs> Yeah, my son's not going anywhere. We'll be just fine. He'll be just fine. He'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, Josh, Alloy A seems very happy there, laughing and often. It's right, it does happen often. Well, I wouldn't say often. It happens at training, but it's still, it still doesn't detract from the fact that there's an issue there with Schuster. I mean, mm. I don't know if the fight has anything to do with it, but clearly, clearly it does. But clearly, break. let's put that aside then. Let's yeah. put it aside, right? Put the fight aside. We 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 we've got to get down. They're trying to the, shift him out of the club. There's okay. no doubt. What's going on there? Do you there's, think they are, Kenny? Yeah, I do think they are. I, I do think I they are. I just think they want him to get fit. And yeah, I want to see the best of him. Kenny, that's what they want. There is reason to shift him out of the club because he's soaking up eight hundred thousand dollars of Anthony Seabold's yeah. salary cap. So if I was Manly, I'd be giving him a little shove too. Yeah, that, I think there's a definite move there. To start making some change, he, he's not delivering the value oh, no, that they're I, investing no in. Dispute okay. there. Got, so no that's sent him there. away. And look, we, yeah, I said last week he's got to start eating less. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he, he's clearly the, the the word from within the club is that since he's got back to playing, with this is the irony of it all. He's actually started to you know, soften up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. He's just eating too much. He's, he's not The discipline's not there. Daly Cherry Evans came as close as he could last week to say it without actually articulating it yeah. in those words. But he, he wanted to give him a little bit of a, uh, yeah, a, a rocket. little bit of a rocket just to say, mate, time to start acting like a professional athlete. Yeah. And let's remember, you know, all these you know, morons out there go, ah, oh, fat shaming, you can't say he's overweight. He's a professional athlete. That's his weapon. 
That's the tool. It's like mm. it's like a carpenter taking a, a blunt chisel to work. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you're carrying weight, that's unnecessary mm. weight. If you're putting weight on through the season, it's a concern for your club. The fact that coaching staff have allowed it to happen is a concern. Where are they? What are they thinking? Well, I think he's now got a, got himself a nutritionist and a trainer oh, that's, to help that's him. Great. That's great. Round, know, round, round nine. Round I, nine. Don't, I understand that. Point. But you know but what? Round nine is already on the bench. But, but you know, if they can get the best out of him. He mightn't be worth 800000 but he's worth but what he's want, close to Do you to want that. a player so, who isn't willing to go on a diet or get himself in a peak condition on $800,000 a year when no. Kieran Foran had to leave the club so that he could play 5'8"? No. And so, so, you know what he did? Played on one leg well, that's on the why Daly said he's now at a crossroads, because he's got to decide what he wants from his career. You're, you're talking about nutritionalists and diets and all this sort of thing. He had a four-month full off-season. Yeah. He stood down from the World Cup, and that's when he should have got himself into shape, and he did, but he, you know, he's lost his fitness again. Yes. And Manly cannot have an $800,000 play they can't pick each week. The concern, though, for me is, if he's, at, to your point, and we all know he trained very well over the summer, he didn't go to the World Cup because he wanted to stay home mm. and actually work on his fitness because he's moving to four, a 5 eight as a... As a permanent move, he wanted to be fit, he wanted to be in shape. So he's done all that. Yet here we are nine weeks into the competition. He's already begun to let that go. So what's happening within the club that's made him lose that motivation? Well, he's had a couple of niggly injuries too, well, Kenny, yeah, which tried. has held him back a bit. He's had some injuries which have probably yeah. restricted him. Full of him. excuses. Let's get to Christy Fulton, who <laughs> she weighed in on it today. I can't cop that for a second, Rhi. Let's get to Christy Fulton's <laughs> comments. The solution is simple. He needs to grow up. Move to, man move to Manly, cut ties with the negative influences in his life, stop hanging with fans, control the diet and have the mindset and attitude he once did circa 2019. Too many enablers and excuse makers, Reedy, <laughs> around him. It's always everyone I'm else's I'm fault. I'm not making excuses you, for him. You, you have I been think making he needs, excuses. I think the, 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 the condition... Well, a couple of injuries. The condition, no. You said, why has he gone, why, why has he gone backwards since the season yeah. started? Oh, so he's had, had a couple of injuries couple which of have injuries. ended him. Okay. But he shouldn't be in the condition he's in and shouldn't yeah. be playing Good. the way he is at $800,000 a year. Yes. If Manly move him, I can understand why they're moving Perfect. him. Perfect. Love but, it. Give him a chance, but give him three weeks, try and get in a shape, get the Reedy. best give out of him. A, and give him. I'm not saying cut him now either. Okay. Christy Fulton is Bob Fulton's daughter. I know Christy. Has, yeah, who worked in Pathways at the club, has been very close uh, working with Schuster over the years on his development from 2019, which he alludes to there, through to where he is now. She's no longer at the club, she left the club last year. But she, she has a pretty good understanding of where he is and what he, where he's at and what he's doing. Like, she's not wrong in what she says. I don't disagree, Kendi. I don't disagree with what Daly said last week. He's at the crossroads. But if you can get him back in shape and get the best out of him, why would you let him go? Why if they can why get the best out of him back in shape? Stage? I don't know, Kenty. I'm not, I'm not at Is the club. Is this a failing of, of, your, of your mate? Who's my in mate? In the coaching office? Well, they've got to take some responsibility, surely, but don't they? The, 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 you have a sports science and high performance unit at every that's NRL the, that's club. That's the absurdity in and, all this buzz. And, and that is, all these millions it, of dollars get spent in all these wages with your high performance unit, your dietitians, and, you so much, and all this. And here's this guy can't go past KFC. Yeah, he's got to help himself. The club can only do so much. They're not within 24 hours a day. They come watch him every moment of the day. If he's not disciplined enough to look after himself when he's not at the at the footy club, what, what seems well, or that, anyone that, else supposed to do about it? That's why I was going to suggest, and I did suggest, they need to shove him out the door, let him go find another club, let him be hungry again for the 800k a year, and... Metaphorically speaking. Sorry? <laughs> I said metaphorically speaking. Yeah, yeah.